four home runs hit by three separate Bobcats was not enough to lift Quinnipiac over Iona as they fall 9-4. to four. Two errors made by shortstop Ian Osberg on overthrows and two balls under the glove of left fielder Andre Marrero led to a hole that the Bobcats could not crawl out of. You know, two, two balls took bad hops. Um, you know, I think the last one he just took his eyes off it a little bit, so when it took that bad hop, it got over his over his glove. You know, he's trying to make a throw before he before he had the ball, so it took a bad hop on him. So, you know, it's mistakes happen. The difference is, you know, we got to make adjustments to it to, to be better moving forward. Uh, the mindset is to, you know, learn from our mistakes, learn from our errors and everything like that, fix it during practice, and come out with a mentality to run over Niagara. That's, I mean, that's the only thing that we got to do. It's just you got to wipe it, learn from it, and then be better. Having a late game uh, fight is something we've always had. Um, we've all, every every game we've played, these guys have never given up. The difference was we faced a team this weekend that uh, came in and they executed everything right. We just didn't uh, we didn't get control of the series. Um, and credit to them for for the way they battled. You know, the game's about adjustments. These guys have done it before. It's not the first series that we've lost. Um, and it's, uh, it's not a series that's going to determine our season. The Bobcats return to the field in Hamden for a non-conference matchup on Wednesday against Central Connecticut before resuming MAC play this weekend to take the series against Niagara University. For Q30 Sports, I'm Robin Brown.